In contrast to autosomal mutations, which can occur on any autosome, X-linked traits are uh, linked to the X chromosome. Females possess two X chromosomes, while males have one X and one Y chromosome. X-linked traits, such as dominant mutations, specifically involve changes on the X chromosome. An example is Rett syndrome, which we briefly discussed earlier in relation to X inactivation. Um, previously. Um, Rett syndrome is a genetic brain disorder that typically becomes noticeable between 6 to 18 months of age in females. Symptoms encompass difficulties with language, coordination, and repetitive movements. Often, affected individuals experience slower growth, challenges with walking, and a smaller sized head. Similar to autosomal dominant traits, Rett syndrome uh, manifests when an individual carries just one copy of the mutated gene. When predicting the inheritance of X-linked traits like Rett syndrome, Punnett squares are useful tools. This diagram illustrates the potential genetic outcomes based on parental genotypes, considering both unaffected carriers and affected individuals. It's crucial to highlight that Rett syndrome is lethal in males due to their single X chromosome carrying the affected allele, which lacks a corresponding normal X chromosome to counteract the mutation. Is there any evidence in this pedigree chart that Rett syndrome is lethal in males? Have a quick look using your knowledge of pedigrees. Note that in this example, if um, the uh, a female possessed two affected X chromosomes, it would also be lethal. It's just because she has two that she's able to counteract this mutation. Okay, so X-link recessive inheritance follows a very similar pattern to what we just discussed. The gene responsible resides on the X chromosome. Females need both X chromosomes to carry the mutation to express the disorder, while males require only their single X chromosome to be affected. Consequently, males have a high susceptibility to X-link recessive disorders. An example of an X-link recessive disorder is haemophilia. Haemophilia is a condition where blood clotting is impaired, leading to an increased risk of severe bleeding from injuries, cuts, or internal trauma, as the blood fails to congelate properly. This is a very common example because um, very few diseases actually follow simple Mendelian um, inheritance patterns, such as the ones we're looking at. Um, but haemophilia does, um, because it is caused by um, um, protein not being formed correctly. So you'll probably hear this example a lot, and it is a good one to remember because you are expected to remember um, specific examples of these types of inheritance. So, um, on the, the last one I want to look at for our main types of inheritance is Y-link traits. Um, now, Y-link traits are actually exceptionally rare because the Y chromosome has limited genetic content. Um, if you were to look at a carrier type chart, you would notice that the Y chromosome is much smaller than the X chromosome, so it's not able to contain much information. In fact, it actually only comprises of 63 genes total, which is incredibly small compared to others. Importantly, only males possess the Y chromosome. Therefore, if a father and a mother have a male child, he will inevitably inherit the Y-linked mutation if present. To illustrate the inheritance pattern of Y-linked traits, we can employ uh, Punnett squares. These diagrams demonstrate that all male offspring inherit the Y chromosome, and thus the associated trait from their fathers. This straightforward inheritance pattern underscores the unique transmission of Y-linked traits exclusive through male lineage. <laughs>